Hey yeah, everybody, welcome to 2022, another year. Um, so yeah, it's just past New Year's <clears throat> and we are out in the paddock that we had Triticale in, the first one that we baled and sowed and all the rest of it. And me and Dad are just out here with a trough that Dad just has put in recently. So on his ho oh, yeah, Christmas holidays, I guess, he's been pretty busy putting in a couple of troughs and gearing up to do a bit of fencing as well, I think. So this paddock um, hasn't had a working trough in it for some time. There was a trough just over there. Um, but I think it got all busted up, didn't it, Dad? And that's why we stopped using it. Yeah, it was just broken because it was made out of concrete. Um, yeah, just sort of deteriorated over the years. So they've bought a new poly one. And yeah, we're just out here fixing a leak at the moment. And um, yeah, we've got a bit of other stuff to do today as well. So we'll um, get this one done. And then we'll, yeah, go about what other little jobs we have to do today. And hopefully it doesn't warm up too much more. So what part's actually leaking? Well, I ran out of thread tape. No, I think it's leaking around here. I'm gripping there. All right, so that tap I just turned on then <clears throat> isolates water from the well from this tank here, which supplies um, most of the troughs out here. It isolates the back half of the farm, I'm pretty sure. So that isolated that trough while we were just working on it. So while let that go, back, pressure build back up down to that trough and see if it leaks, and then yeah, that'll say all good hopefully. And then um, yeah, we'll get on with the uh, other jobs for today. Righty, so. Just then up to the house and a bit of lunch, that trough doesn't appear to be leaking, so that's alright. So that's a job done. So now we're going to set up our firefighting, one of our firefighting trailers. So this is the old tan trailer, we're going to get those 2,000 litre pods and put them on the trailer and we'll set up a water pump for them. Um, yeah, it's just another thing we have for if there's a fire or something. Then we have a pump and some water set up. We also have the old boom spray tank set up to do the same thing. It's got a pump on it as well that we can use to fight fires. So we generally pull this one apart once summer's over because we use the trailer for other things. So <clears throat> we're just getting the tow bar, all well, the tow um, set up on the tractor. <clears throat> and then we'll lift these on and we'll get the pump and set it up as well. Rightio, so we've got one pod up on there. So all we have here is our quick coupling setup. So we can put this in between that pod and that pod. And then there's a T piece in the middle that we run the pipe to the pump. So that means we can have both of them hooked up at the same time and drain them down without having to swap tanks. So we'll set that up in between and put the other pod on. All right, so we've got the T piece set up in between. That's how it sort of looks. And then we put the pipe on there with the pump and should be ready to go.
All right, so we got the pump on there, set up to the tea piece, and just filling with water. So we'll let them both fill up, and then be done, I guess. Test it works, probably. Yeah, so we're we'll back in a bit. Works. That'll be him. Alright everybody, we're just over here in the workshop. So for Christmas, I got Dad, well, we got Dad a, a little roll cab and tool chest on top. Just a Stanley one, it's not huge, but it should be pretty good, we think. So we're going to tidy up all the tools. He's currently Got this little one here that he's had since he was 16 that um, isn't cutting the mustard currently. And uh, got the tool walls as well, but I think we're going to clean them up and put a lot of the tools into the box so we can make a bit more space in the side of the shed, do a bit more work and whatever. Um, yeah, so we should be hopefully fit quite a lot of it into the, the new toolbox and make a bit of space. everything in that toolbox and roll cap everything out of that little red toolbox that on the bench plus a little bit more and the parts wash is now sort of in a spot where it can be used even though there's nothing in there that we can wash anything with we haven't got any chemical but at least now it's not taking up this space here so so made a bit more room in the workshop that's good what do you reckon cool but uh, it's too hot not hot yeah so probably gonna finish up it's pretty warm today Right, so as you can see, they're probably about, oh, how much? 400 litres there maybe, in those two tanks. So it's been running for two hours and that's how much it's filled up, so it'll probably take for the rest of the day to fill that up. But uh, yeah, we're gonna call it, it's a pretty warm one today and we don't really wanna go busting our balls too much. So yeah, probably wrap the video up. I know she's a bit of a short one, but um, yeah, I've had, I've had a couple of weeks off, so. We'll start getting back into the swing of it. There's plenty of fencing work to do, I know that much. Uh, some gates to hang on there and some new fences to put up. And uh, yeah, we'll start the year off and hopefully we'll have a real good one this year and uh, we'll make some improvements and hopefully have a little bit better a year than what we did last year. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching everybody. Um, yeah, make sure you stick around <clears throat> for all the videos coming out. The uh, Q&A one, I'm almost done editing it. It's a pretty long one. Uh, but yeah, it's it's not a bad video. So that'll be out pretty soon. So uh, yeah, we'll catch us all in the next one. There we go.